Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's a little different on the intro today. I know I'm still loading in here, but I had a, a, a couple things to run through with you guys before we even get into the video, okay? Um, for one, I'd just like to thank all you guys for all the support on the channel. Um, we've grown so fast. Um, I'm just totally stoked with how fast it's grown, and I have all you guys to thank for that. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate all the support. You guys are bloody legends, all right? Um, and with that being said, let's get right into this because I, I got on this morning. Uh, you guys know I was up till 5 o'clock last night live streaming with you guys. Uh, we played some F1 races. We did uh, some pub stomping. We did the giveaway, of course, for about four hours. And, you know, we played some of the double money RP missions. But So it was a lot of fun. I really uh, had fun with all you guys. Um, but what had happened this morning was I got up and I looked for some glitches to post for you guys like I normally do. And as I'm looking through YouTube, you know, and uh, forums... I come across a video that's using the Benny's merge to make vehicles, all right? Well, uh, what initially caught my attention with this merge was the fact that the person making it, I'm not saying, I'm not going to mention whose channel it was. If you guys watch a lot of videos, you, you'll know who this was, all right? But uh, he, he says that one of his comments in his videos was, hey, man, why does it always take so long to do your glitches and why are all your glitches so complicated? And he replies with this statement of, well, that's because my glitches over here are real. I'm not posting fake glitches like all these other YouTube channels, all right? So I was heated. Like, as soon as I read that, yeah, I was heated. Or heard that, you know, I got I got pretty ill about it. Um, because anytime you make a blanket statement like that to cover a, a wide variety of people, you know, yeah, there are some, some YouTubers out there that post fake videos, but that doesn't allow you to, to say, you know, all other YouTubers. Because when you say that, then you're talking about me, too. And if you've been here on the channel, you guys know I don't upload any fake glitches and never will. They ain't worth my time. They ain't worth your time, all right? So uh, I'm not going to waste either one of ours valuable time to, to post something just for some views, okay? Because the feedback will come on whether it works or not. And uh, this guy's the one that's going to have to reap the benefits. Uh, you know, I've been looking through the comments. Everybody says, oh, this isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. That's because this method was patched a long time ago. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's the Gerald or Simeon mission you would take in the arena garage to merge. All right. Well, we know that's been patched for weeks, guys. Well, this video was just uploaded today, right? Saying, oh, free unlimited money glitch, uh, you know, uh, super easy, all this jazz. Um, so once I've seen all this coupled with the fact that he's saying all these other youtubers are making fake videos yeah i was pretty heated all right so that kind of inspired me to make this and now what i'm going to show you guys the glitch the way this video says you should do it and show you how it doesn't work i'm also going to show you a way to do it where it will work all right because this glitch will work if you do it a different way um but another thing too is there was some things in the video that weren't mentioned that'll get you guys into a lot of trouble like the fact that when you do you're making dirty dupes here, all right? When you're merging Benny's vehicles, you're making dirty cars because you're taking everything off of that old car, same as the plate, and you're merging that onto the new car. So obviously, if you have two cars with the same exact plate, that second one's a dirty car, right? And if you sell that, you'll get dupe detected. You'll be down to one car every 30 hours, right? So let's say you did this glitch now. Uh, in his defense, he did say not to sell them in the arena, but he doesn't tell you why, right? So let's say you just decided, well, you're going to try to sell one in the arena and see what happens. Well, you just got dupe detected, all right? And if you get dupe detected with a dirty dupe, you can get put down to, like me, where you can only sell one car every 30 hours. Well, then dupe and cars just kind of lost all its appeal to you because you can only make tops a couple mil a day, right, in 30 hours. If you sell it Izzy, you can make about two million a day, all right? Um... So I'm trying to avoid you guys having any of these problems, you know, um, and I'm trying to let you be aware that some of these people out here that are saying, you know, they're posting real videos and, you know, bashing Hi other there. channels for not what posting, you know, you? they're no better, right? And I would normally never get out here and just rant about someone's channel, but like I said, I was kind of heated that, that he, they would openly lie and then bash other Keep channels at the same up. time, so... I'm here to show you guys what's real. You don't have to Are worry if you sure come you here. I'm never snacks. posting any fake videos. Looks I encourage like all you guys to let me know if you think something's when patched. I'll go and test it, and I'll let you know for sure if it is, all right? Um, sure you need more I'm just trying to help you guys out, and Looks you guys like are helping me in return, all right? It's a win-win, right? You what you've got, I'll give so you without too much more ranting, I'm going to get right into the glitch, right? You see I spawned in at my bunker. Just like normal on the Benny's merge, you want your spawn location set to your bunker, okay? 
and then you want to come and make sure you have snacks. So I came to my office to grab some snacks, and then I'm going to make my way down to the arena, all right? In the arena, as normal, you want a Fagio, okay? It's it's easier with a Fagio Sport. It knocks over easier. It pushes to the door easier, all right? You can use the regular one. I've heard people say that, and they're right. You can. Um, but I do find it to be easier with the Sport, all right? Oh, it's going to pull me, but I'm going to have to hit circle here. Uh, But... And you also, like I said, you want the snacks, guys, and you also want, in your garage at the arena, you want uh, free elegies, at least two of them, all right? If you're wanting to do a whole garage of these, then you're going to want multiples. I don't recommend you guys do this to make money, because what you're going to see down here is I've already maxed out one of my elegies, all right? I can tell you what that cost. It cost about a half a mil to max it out, all right? Well, you only make back a little under 300000 okay, for that. So you have to sell two of them just to break even, right? So it, that, that alone in itself turned me off to it because the whole idea behind a money glitch, guys, is to maximize your time to profit, all right? You should be making bank for the time you're putting in. Otherwise, if I'm making a couple hundred thousand for every, you know, 30 minutes or so, I can make that money running business missions or running CEO crates, right? So I got no need for these glitches that are taking too long to make small amounts of money, all right? I don't even post those on my channel because they ain't worth my time, they ain't worth your time. And I'm trying to make you guys mad stacks in no time, right? That's what we're all about out here. So um, I know I'm kind of going on a rant here, but like I said, it, it just kind of got me heated to, to hear him bashing uh, other people's and my channel. Um, and then at the, in the same breath, post a glitch that isn't even working, that hasn't been working for, for weeks, right? Um, so here we are in the arena nonetheless, okay? Now you see I've got my elegy, that's what we're gonna merge to. And what we're doing is basically we're taking this elegy, not the retro custom, okay? Don't upgrade it to the Benny's version or this won't work right. Um, you're taking this one and you're merging that over to the other one, okay? Now if you're really wanting to do this to make a lot of money, I would recommend doing this with the Izzy's, right? You could do the same thing. You could have a fully uh, customized Izzy over there and then you could merge it over to this one, right? But we're using this one for the purpose since this one's a free car. Um, like I said, I don't recommend you doing this anyways. Uh, you're not going to make a whole lot of money. And I'm going to show you some of the problems with this once we get towards the end. Okay, so first things first, get on your Fagio right on the D-pad to modify it. If you guys have done the Benny's Merge, what you know all about this. You know what we're about what to do. So going to be? Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, what we're going to do is just come in here. We're going to eat snacks behind the Fagio, and we're going to try to knock it over with the pile of trash. Okay, so get lined up. Uh, I like to use first person right here. Get lined up with your left hand side of your body right on the middle of the wheel. You see that? That's that's pretty nice there. Um, now sometimes you are a little bit close and the trash will kind of hit the muffler. That's all right. It'll eventually start piling up by the back tire. So go to inventory, go to snacks, and you're just going to sit here and drink some beers. All right? It's pretty simple. And essentially what we're trying to do, you see how that pushed it over a little bit? We're just trying to make a pile of trash right here. And it ain't going to take much. The beers work the best, but you can do this with any of the snacks. I've done it with P's and Q's, meteorites, colas, beers. Um, the beers, like I said, they are the easiest, but you can do this with anything. Don't drink too many of these or else your character will end up drunk. And then you'll just be stumbling around. It's just going to make it harder. You'll have the blurry vision. So once you've done that, come to this side and either smoke or emote while you walk against the Fagio. And you'll see right there, boom, super easy. Knocks it over. Once you've done that, you want to spin it around so that the back of the Fagio is facing out towards the garage door, all right? And then we're just going to push right here under the headlight, just like this. Boom, and we're going to walk this all the way back until we get to the edge of the concrete there at the garage door, okay? And it may, you know, give you a hard time here. Sometimes this thing's pretty inconsistent. I've pushed it before with one push right to the door. Sometimes, you know, it takes lining up over and over again to get it over here. So just be patient, guys, with any glitch, you know, it takes a little patience. So work it over to the door. You want it right in the middle, too. Don't push it too far to one side or the other okay because if it gets it and i've seen this more so on the right side what will happen is it'll get all the way over here against the wall and then when you pull the vehicle in to knock it over it won't even touch it right so make sure it's in the middle here is what we're going to do is we're going to line it up right here on the edge of the concrete all right we want the tires just over the concrete not too much but we don't want them on the darker concrete so just like that that's plenty um, I could have gone a little bit less, would have been nicer, but that's that's pretty nice right there, guys. See how close we are to the edge? And we only have one alert in the top left-hand corner. Hit right to modify. That's exactly what you want. At this point, hit triangle to get off the vehicle, okay? Now, you can use any vehicle to do this next part. I'm using the big truck. I find the big truck to be pretty easy. A lot of times I can get in with the first push. Now, not that's not guaranteed, not every time, but um, you can use any vehicle for this because all we're doing is knocking the Fagio back into the garage. So any vehicle here will work. Like I said, if you have the Celebris, I recommend using this one because this is usually a bit easier. 
or the Seburus. I've been calling this thing the Celebrus forever, but um, look, see, there we go. See how we push the Fagio back in? First, first push. So super easy with the truck, guys. Um, and like I said, that's not every time. So once you're in here, just exit the vehicle. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to hope we have two alerts here, all right? Return to storage is what we're looking for right there. Boom. Hit left on the D-pad to return to storage, all right? So now the mechanic thinks that there's no truck inside there. So that's what allows us to pull a second vehicle inside. Um, and I recommend doing this with a skinnier vehicle if you're using the truck. Um, really with any vehicle because, like, so let's say you use the Night Shark to pull in there first. All right, you want to take a skinnier vehicle to put up under that because it's going to jam the second vehicle under the first vehicle, right? So if we take this car in first and we knock the Fagio over with that and then we take this in, what's going to happen more than likely is it's going to stack that car on top hey. of the Night Shark and that's more than likely going to flip the stagnant car in there over. If you flip the other car that's already sitting in there over, you have to start all over, all right? If the car that you're in flips over, you can just exit the workshop, re-enter. But if the, the stagnant car in there flips, like if that truck flips over, I have to start all over, all right? So I'm taking in something smaller. Um, even if you're going to use the Night Shark later, that's fine. Take this in first and get this in there first to get the truck out or whatever car out. And then take the Night Shark in there as a second or as a first vehicle, okay? Um, so just pull this over. Uh, hit around the D-pad to pull it inside. What's up? What are we doing then? And then you see it's going to get jammed under, just like I said. And you just want to give your character a few seconds to try to give it, get it out from up under the truck, all right? Because sometimes they struggle here. Sometimes they drive right out. Um, if worst case scenario, guys, what we'll do is just exit the workshop and pull back in, okay? It's, um, it's not a huge deal. We're just going to try to get out from up under the truck. Um, if you don't use the truck, you won't have quite as much trouble with this step. But you'll spend that time instead trying to knock the faggy over, usually. So that's kind of why I prefer to do it this way, because... Um, this will you will eventually get out from under here I've had the Fagio before not want to push back inside um, I don't recommend exiting the vehicle here I've had it smash me under the map and you spawn back out by Mount Chiliad in which case you have to start all over from square one I've also had it kill me comes it smashes me under the truck obviously um, now if you get in a good spot where you can get out of the door and you know the trucks not too far off the ground you can get out and get in the truck and drive it out but you want to make sure the truck's not too high off the ground because what will happen sometimes is you won't be able to get to the door and then, you know, you're stuck right like that. So um, you can see my character's going to get out this time. And I, I've found a lot that the second or third time you pull in, they seem to be able to get out a little easier. So I'm not sure why that is. but And then if you can, let your character, boom, like that, pull the car over here out of the way. Um, because you see now when I enter with the next vehicle, this car's going to be nice and out of the way. I don't have to worry about getting smashed up under it and flipping it over. So now take this back out. Um, if this is one of the elegies, if you use the elegy at this step, you can leave it in here, all right? But I didn't use it. I used the truck. So we're just going to pull this back out, all right? All right, once we're out here, just exit the vehicle. Now we're going to pull in one of the elegies we're wanting to use, all right? I'm going to go ahead and pull in the fully customized one because this is what you would be doing, right? If you had just a regular one here, you'd pull this in, and then you would go ahead and fully upgrade this vehicle, all right? I've already done that. I can tell you it cost about... Uh, like I said, about half a mil to upgrade this thing completely. Like I said, don't upgrade it to the Benny's version, you know? Like right here, don't do the upgrade Benny's original motor works, okay? You just want to upgrade all of these, right? Uh, it's maxed out, right? Most expensive thing you can find, all the way down to the wheels, okay? Now, once you got this in here, just exit the vehicle. And then, what you want to do is get your uh, normal LG in here, okay? the one you're going to merge to. So we're going to return this one to storage. And you're going to see what I'm talking about when we pull the second vehicle in here. Now, we're going to hope that it doesn't flip the first one over. I mean, that's really all you can do is keep your fingers crossed that it doesn't tip it over. Um, I like doing a lot of the supercars because uh, they're, they're pretty hard to flip. This one, this is a pretty tall car here, so we're just going to hope for the best here. Hit around the D-pad. And like I said, it's going to it's gonna smash this one up under that car that's in there, right? So... Just give it a minute here. Let's just hope this first one doesn't flip over. That's really the only thing you have to see. Look, now, we got really lucky that thing didn't flip all the way over. Now, look, once you're like this, let them drive this car out of the way, all right? Like this, that'll work. As um, long as it's not sitting right here in this space, then we won't get jammed under it, all right? 
So now once you're here, this is this is where we pick up where the other video that I mentioned, this is where they're telling you to do, okay? First of all, you'd, you'd modify something on the vehicle just as normal, right? What are we doing then? So let's do What's that. Uh, we're going to exit the vehicle. Now, uh, this other video claims that you can use the Gerald job. Now, I'm going to show you guys that that doesn't work just so you know for sure. Like, watch, I'll go up on my request a job from Gerald. Now, a lot of you guys that have done this, you already know what's about to happen. You know what this you doesn't want? work. There's, you know, you, yeah, if you would have watched this video like I did on. this morning, you would have known, oh, you well, that's BS. I'm not even wasting my time with that. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you guys, right? Um, is, you know, be very weary of what you watch, uh, you know, and who you follow because, you know, there's a lot of people that will lead you in the wrong direction. So, look, right here, Gerald, we go and we're going to hover over the job. Now, the old method was this. You hold down pause. And then you accept the job and let go of pause. Well, we know now. Watch, I'm going to do it right here. Hold down pause. X and let go of pause. See, it kicks you out of the vehicle. That's why this method doesn't work anymore, all right? Now, like you can see, look right there. I'm going to back out of the job. See? See how it kicked me out of the vehicle? That's why that old method, the, the old, sorry, old method doesn't work, okay? And um, if, you've, if you've been around the Benny's Merge, you already know that doesn't work, so... Um, here's the method you would use if you really want that to work, right? You would get in this vehicle, you'd hold down pause and hit left on the D-pad as you let go of pause, right? So we're doing that right now, watch. Alright, see, what that's what you want. See how it kicked me out of the car, but the car isn't here, right? Because the car went back out here. Now if we'll check, look, this car is going to have the mods from that vehicle. The problem here is, and this is what he didn't tell you, right? You can't. He did say that you can't sell it here, but he didn't say why. Let me tell you why that is, and why he didn't tell you that. Because look, check out the plate on this car right here. 04 VFM. Watch, I'm going to show you. If you have two cars with the same exact plate, and they're not custom plates, this car is dirty. All right, watch. Boom. You see that plate? Same exact plate. This car is a dirty plate. But let me tell you something right now. If you did this glitch this morning, you got on, watch that glitch, you're like, oh yeah, thanks man, awesome money glitch. And then for some reason, you didn't follow all the steps and you say, I'm just going to take this car back in here and sell it right here. Because all he told you was if you sell this car in here, you'll hit the daily sell limit. Well, you won't just hit the sell limit, you'll get dupe detected is what you'll get. And you'll only be able to sell one car every 30 hours, guys. That is not good information for you guys, all right? Some kid's going to go and do this glitch and he's going to take this car right back in and sell it all excited about the money he's going to get. And then guess what? Boom, he's dupe detected. Now he's down to one car every 30 hours. You know, that's not fun for anybody, right? And that's kind of why I, I, I was felt so passionate about making this video because, you know, it's not right to, to mislead people or to not give them the full story. All right, now let me show you what you can do to clean this car, all right? And this is this was mentioned in the video too. You drive this car out of here and you go sell it at the Los Santos Custom somewhere else, right? All right, well, let me tell you the problem with that is that Let's say you did a whole garage of these vehicles, right? Because you're wanting to make money with this glitch, okay? So you did a whole garage of these vehicles. But the problem is you can't save them. Normally what you would do is take this car back inside, change something on it. That would, And what's that going to do? That's going to save this plate on it. All right, so now you can never sell these cars because they're always dirty. The only way to keep this car is to go outside and sell it at the Los Santos Customs. All right, well, you can only sell one car every two hours or, you know, seven cars in a 30-hour period. Now, seeing as you can't save this car, what can you not do? You can't leave this session. You're stuck in this invite-only session until you sell all these cars, right? Now, that's not worth your time, guys. Um, look, I'm going to take this back inside. We're going to just for shits and giggles. Watch. Let, let me go back in here. Let's let's see how much this one's worth. I don't know if it's going to give me the option because I may have already sold my one car for my 30 hours. Um, you know, and that's, I really don't want you guys to be in that boat because I know how much it sucks to be stuck selling only one car every 30 hours. What you know, duping do? cars kind of loses so, its appeal then. What's up? Um, So watch, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if it'll give me the, the at least the, um, I just want to see the amount. Let's see. Nope, see, I've reached my daily sell limit. But I can already tell you, I watched the other guy sell them. It sells for about 300000 okay? So you you spent half a mil, a little over half a mil making this car. You have to sell at least two to break even, all right? Now there's your two hours. Now you have to wait two hours before you can even start making money, all right? And then after that two hours, what do you make? 300000 every hour because you can't sell cars back to back without getting you know a sell limit so that like i said guys this that's not worth your time to do this um and i really hate that you know you weren't fully informed on that video because you know so, like i said some kid's going to come in here and get dupe detected selling this car and he's going to wonder why right because nobody told him the reasons 
Um, now, what you want to do, if you are going to do this glitch, drive this car outside, all right? Don't drive it back in. Don't save it. Don't change anything on it. Drive it outside. Drive it straight over to another custom shop and sell it, okay? Um, and then, like I said, you can if you did a whole garage of these cars, you can come back here, drive another one out, sell it, all right? Um, don't leave the session, though. If you leave the session, these cars will, de will uh, revert back to what they were because they weren't saved, all right? And you can't save them. If you save them, you get stuck with the dirty tag. So I don't recommend doing this, guys. And uh, I know this has been kind of a rant, but uh, it really, like, you know, grinded my gears when I heard the comment about other YouTubers and then in the same video posting a glitch that doesn't work. Not only does it not work, but not giving you all the info so that you don't know about the dirty plates, right? You don't know why you can't sell it here. You don't know why now you have to wait in the session for hours to sell all these vehicles, okay? So just, just to let you guys know, all right? He said, you can't do this glitch. Don't recommend it. I have working uh, duplication glitches on my channel right now. I've got the facility where you can pay for all the heists. You don't have to complete the heist. You can go right in, pay for the, all the setups, and you can do the heist right away, okay? So just check out something else on the channel, guys. Um, and I am going to be uploading. There's a couple of new uh, duplication glitches, I believe. There's a new one using that uh, certain game at the um, arcade. I'm going to be uploading that one shortly. Um, I believe there's a off the radar and a invisible method that I'm going to be putting up using the facility. So uh, keep your eyes open for those guys. Um, I do appreciate, like I said, I, sorry, sorry, I kind of went on a rant here, but um, just had to get this out. I, you know, I, I don't want you guys, you know, to have a hard time with this. I'm out here to help you guys. You guys are helping me. You know, we all got to work together on this. Um, so I really do appreciate all the love on the channel. Um, if you found the video helpful, please leave me a like. If you're new, subscribe. I post daily videos, money glitches. Uh, we do give cars to friends three days a week. All right, I just come out here and give away cars, guys. I sit here for three hours just giving you guys cars. So, you know, you can't tell me that I don't have you guys' uh, best interest at heart, okay? So thanks again, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one later.